In this particular video, we're going to learn how to complete an equation given two reactants. And this works exceptionally nice for the double replacement reactions, which is what all of these reactions we'll do in the video are going to be. And this little nomenclature right here where you see two with five means that we're going to take chemical number two and we're going to mix it with number five. And as we write that down, it's going to look like this. FeCl3, that's iron three chloride, plus manganese two sulfate. Sulfate is one of our ions from the memorized ions. And chloride, of course, is an easy one to know. Um, so sulfate, anybody want to give me a number for sulfate? No? Okay, well, let's, let's, call, let's call on some people. What I want when I ask you about this is you might want to get out your memorized ions chart so you have the charges on your sulfates. And hopefully you put that into your miscellaneous section so it's easy to find. Well, let's, let's get started with the easiest one, chloride. So, Vahe, would you please tell us what is the charge on chloride? Yep, one minus. Okay, chloride, yes, because it's the ion. Okay, now if we have three chlorides, Vahe, you're still on the hook here. Okay, three chlorides and each of them is a one minus, what's the total negative charge? Excellent. So what is the charge on iron? There's only one of them. No, you won't find it on the chart. You have to find it from the charge on the anion, the negative guy. So we have three, yes, good. It's a three plus. So my three plus with the iron offsets the three negative ones from the chloride. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So let's go to manganese next. But first of all, we want to go to sulfate. Sulfate, and for that one, let's give Emin a chance. Okay, Emin, could you tell us on sulfate, what is the negative charge? What? Negative two. Excellent. Two minus. Now, there's only one sulfate, so what would the charge on manganese have to be? Now, don't look at this. Now, don't look at the four on the oxygen here. Look at the two in red. There's only one of these, okay, because there's only one sulfate. SO4 is the sulfate ion. So what does manganese have to be? Yes, indeed. So there's one of each, and the two plus and the two minus come out to a net zero. That's why that molecule is properly balanced. Okay, there's two balancing acts that we're going to be doing today. The first balancing act is getting the molecules balanced, and the second one will get the whole equation balanced. Now let's go ahead and let's finish this equation. And Emin, why don't you give us what the first metal will be on the right right hand side? Uh huh. So who would we use first? Iron or manganese? Iron. iron. Good. Okay. So we're going to put the iron here. And now iron is with chloride on this side, but it's going to go with someone else on the other side. Who's that going to be? Manganese? No. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording just a moment. What we just did is we put the positive end of two very strong magnets together. Not. We couldn't because the magnet was so strong could not put the two positives together. They just won't go because they repel each other. So, since iron is with chloride on the left-hand side, who could iron be with on the right-hand side? It's not chloride. What's his only other choice? Yeah, there you go. So we got the SO4 is going to go, and that's the sulfate. Now we're going to do the crisscross magic. And let me show you what I mean by crisscross magic. Iron we determined here was a 3 plus. Sulfate we determined over here was a 2 minus. Those charges are going to be the subscripts 
of the other guy. Okay, that's the crisscross. So we look at iron and we say, what will the subscript be? Two. Okay, the subscript has to be two because two is the charge on the sulfate. That's why we did this. You do not have to write the charges the way I've done here, but I would like you to do that while you're doing this little exercise because it will help you getting your products. Start of it. So why do you take the charge of the sulfate? Because that is the opposite ion. If I put the, the subscript because these two guys are bonded together, the iron That's and the sulfate. That. What? That's why it gets the two? That's why it gets the two. Yeah, the opposite guy is going to give you the number to use as a subscript. And so, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Emma, what would our, our subscript be for the sulfate? Two over three. Two over three. Here, let's get this up for you. Is that easier to see now? Three. Excellent. So three is our number. Now, look what happens. Three times the two minus is what? Six minus, sure. And iron is a three plus, so two times three plus, okay? When those numbers are equal, the net charge will be zero. You see? And so this is a properly put together molecule. And it has a net zero charge. And then the next thing we're going to do, John, you get to do this one. Which one? Uh, you're going to tell us who the next metal is and put him together. Manganese. Manganese, good. And manganese is going to go with who on the other side? Chloride. Chloride, good. Now, again, we're going to look at the charges. Here's our chloride. And here's our manganese. And let's do the crisscross magic. What is the subscript going to be for manganese? One minus. One minus. OK, we don't take the charges with us. We just use the numbers. And when it's a one, we don't write it. But you're right. It's a one for the manganese, so it's not written. And what will the charge be on the chloride? Good. So that guy's a two. And now we have a properly put together uh, chemical equation. And now we can do the balancing. The balancing is to get the number of atoms on each side to be the same. So let's start with iron. How many irons on the left side? One. Okay. Irons on the right? Two. Two. So how do we fix it? A three. A two here. Okay, good. Now, let's look at the chlorides. How many chlorides do we have with the coefficient of two out front? Six. Six. And we look at chlorides on the right. Two. Put a three in front. How do we get it to be six? A three. A three. Okay. Once we put the three in front of the manganese, then we have to look back at manganese on the left side. Okay. So what do we do here? Three. We put a three in front of manganese, and that gives us three manganese. Now let's check out everything and see if we came out okay. Oh, are the iron? Yeah. Everything's right. Looks like everything's good. Okay, first of all, we check this guy. Iron is two on the left and two on the right. Okay, chloride on the left. Three times two is six. Chloride on the right. Three for the coefficient and two for the subscript gives us six. Yes, question? I put the three in front of manganese because there's a three in front of manganese on the right side. The three on the right side came because we had, let's see, we did this in order. Six yeah, we, we needed to get the six chlorines. Okay? When we balanced the chlorines, we had to move the manganese up to three. That's on the right side. This manganese had to come up to three. And because that manganese was three, we had to make the three coefficient for the manganese there. Oh, it goes back and forth like ping pong. Oh, yeah. And because the three coefficient, this three coefficient, is also multiplying the sulfate, we have three sulfates now on the left. And fortunately, we have a subscript of three over here, and that gives us three sulfates. 
balance? The chloride is balanced. Three times two is six. And on the other side, it's two times three. And that's also six. Got it? Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Good. That's our first one. So let's go. We are balanced. And yeah, we can put a one here. Okay. Normally, we won't do that in the future. But for right now, I'm trying to train your eye to know that that's actually a one. Later on, we'll leave the ones out. Yes. Never mind. I'll ask you a question about the box. Okay. Now, let's go to 